Hey fam, welcome back to my channel. I'm glad that you guys are joining me today. If you are new, welcome. My name is Mina and I'm glad you guys took time to come and watch my videos. I definitely appreciate it. And if you are already part of the fam, hello. Welcome back. How are you, boo? How are you, sis? How are you, honey? Are you ready to get into this beat today? I'm gonna show you guys this beat, but it's more so to showcase these lashes, okay? These lashes are by my friend here on YouTube, Lisa Marie. Her and I have been cool for some time now, and she's really a friend that I support. And always remember that you need to support your friends, and I definitely want to pick up some of her lashes. So I love these lashes so, so very much. And if you guys are interested in learning more about these lashes, see me do this beat, then please continue to watch. All right, guys, so as I always start, I am brushing off the powder on my face. I've already primed, moisturized, and all those good things. Now I'm going to place down my foundation. Today I am using a, you know, concoction of the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation and the Becca Radiant Foundation. I just love the finish of this foundation. It's definitely matte, okay? I'm an oily girl, so I am loving that. But it also gives you that natural, radiant look, you know? It doesn't look like your face is about to crack open because it's so matte. So I definitely love that about it. And then now I'm going to just place down my base concealer. And this is going to be my MAC Prep and Prime Pen in Bright Forecast. I just really want this to brighten up my under eyes because I have deep set eyes. And so I'm going to let that sit and then move on to my brows. Today I am using my Benefit Brow Wiz. Now if you guys would like an in detail tutorial on how I do my brows, hey, like, comment, let me know. But just sit back and enjoy, you know, how I beat my brows, okay? This brow is struggling, you see it? It's struggling. But we're about to get her together that's all they're gonna get today so now i'm just going to blend out that mac prep and prime pen and i definitely wanted it to stay opaque so i used a brush for this i did not want to use my sponge and then my sponge just soaked up all the product so yes so i'm just going to continue to blend that out seamlessly and then next I'm going to use my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Warm, Medium, Dark. And this is just to add a little bit more coverage, but to also, you know, tone down that, that matte prep and prime pan just a little bit. So I'm just going to blend that out. And I really do love this combo. It brightened my under eyes and my deep set eyes did not conquer me today. So I was pretty. And you guys, I love listening to music. And I was like, girl, you did not put on your Pandora station. What are you doing? And then my phone died, so I had to wait. So I'm just going to continue blending until it comes back on. But guys, once again, I thank you guys for, you know, watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up, like, okay, like the video. Here are just some of my things that I listen to on Pandora. Some Anita Baker, I have some SZA, I have some Meek Mill, I have some Cardi B, I have some Kehlani. So I love all genres of music. So my playlist is pretty long. So I'm just going to finish blending out that concealer. And then I'm going to move on to contouring. Yes, I am cream contouring today. I am using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit. And I'm going to start off with that bottom left shade. It is the lightest shade of the three dark colors. And I'm just going to use that to start building up, you know, the contour, the cut, the definition. So I used a sponge to blend this out and I definitely regret it because I had to beat, like, I had to literally beat my face in order for this to blend out, even after I sprayed my sponge. But you know, it still turned out looking really, really well, but I probably would have did this before I even did my foundation if I knew I was gonna use it. You know, when you do your makeup, you just grab for stuff, you know? That was that situation. So I went in with that middle color and I'm just adding a little bit more de um, dimension to my face. That color is just a tad bit darker. So I wanted to use that just to add, um, you know, shadows and areas that I, I didn't have before. So now I'm just setting my face with my Becca 
mineral powder foundation and this is in the color tobacco i usually you know bronze with this color but i was like you know what i want to look a little you know bronze all over today my whole face so i use it on my entire face and i actually love you know how it came out i like it and here it is the becca and shade tobacco and so next i'm going to set my under eyes with my kat von d shade and light palette we all know those top two right colors are my homegirls i'm going to get her loose powders because i just love them so much So oh, now I want to spray my face with my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray because I want it to sit. I don't want it to go anywhere. Now we're moving on to the eyes and I'm using this powder. You've seen me use it before. This is my Lorac Wet to Dry Face Powder and I love using it not only as a bronzer but as a transition color because I just love the warmth of it. Next, we already know this Wet n Wild Color Icon Palette. We already know that it's my bestie and that orange in there we have like some type of close relationship. But I'm going to use that to warm up my crease even more. I'm going to take this orangey brick color out of the 350 palette by Morphe and I'm going to build up that crease. I'll be showing you guys these three colors in a little bit but I'm going to start off by using that color and I'm just going to build up the crease. Use the orange shade. This is going to be the top orange shade. I'm going to use that on the outer half of my lid and then I'm just going to take a lighter orange and finish off the lid and just blend everything together to make it look seamless. And I just really love how this came out. I'm such an orange person. Like, I love orange eyeshadows. I don't really wear a lot of orange, but orange eyeshadows, yes. So these are the three colors that I use right here to the far right. I use the bottom one in the crease, the middle one on the lid, and the top one on the lid. It's like a, it's like a glitter, but it has like that wet look. So guys, what we're really here for today is to showcase these lashes that I just received in the mail from my friend here on YouTube, Miss Lisa Marie, honey. So I wanted to do the unboxing here during this tutorial so that you guys can get my first impressions. And yeah, so let's see what these bad boys look like. Got two pairs, she was actually having a sale for the month of March. Sorry, this probably won't be up in March, but I will put all of her information in the description bar below so that you guys can go shop for yourself. So I got two pairs of lashes, and what I love so much about these lashes is that they come in a little case. You know, if you're anything like me, I can lose some lashes. Like, look, I just got a lash sitting right here. Just, just sitting right here. But I like that it comes with its own little personal bag where you could, you know, put them back in um, to store them away while you're not wearing them. So when I open up the bag, this is how the packaging looks. Like, look at that. How beautiful is that? And then this is the back. It has a little message on there. It says, you deserve these babies. Lashes are a girl's best friend. Wear them like a gem. And then it says, love deluxe BB. And that's beautiful. So when I unwrap it, this is how the front of the box looks. So pretty. And then when I, and it has a little tassel right here where you can pull down the lashes. I am super excited. Are the Marie lashes and these are the diamond lashes. Right there. One thing I love about her lashes is that they are 100% cruelty free and they're handmade. So as you can see right there, they're 100% cruel cruelty free. And so now I'm trying to see which ones I want to wear. 
I'm super excited. I definitely want to showcase the eyeshadow. So I think I'm gonna go in with the Marie Lashes here. Let's do it. And so to apply my lashes, which I probably will be doing off camera, I have just some tweezers right here. And this is the glue that I like to use. It's the duo glue and it's the green one. All right guys, so I have the lashes on and I must say I am in love with these. I mean, I love how flare they are. They're not heavy at all. Like I barely feel like I have on lashes. Friend, you did this. You did this. So I want you guys to kind of get like a close up look at how they look. Look at that. Girl, you better. Guess what? My friend Lisa Marie has provided my MDD family with a coupon code. So if you are interested in purchasing any of these lashes, go to the website on the screen and at checkout, enter Mina18 and you will receive 20% off your order. So visit and shop. These are the two lip products that I'm dealing with. Now I do have some liners that are colored that I was thinking about as well. So I have a liner from Clean Color and it is in the color Electric Blue. Then I also have one from that same line, but it's a purple color and it's in the color Violet. And so we're just gonna see what happens. I do like the color, but I don't like how this is looking right here. That's not cute. So I'm gonna go back in with this. It's actually pretty cute. Okay. We all know I am starting with this Milani baked bronzer right here. If you watch any of my previous videos, you know that this is like my base highlight, but this is in the color 04 Glow. So I'm just going to kind of add that to areas that I'm going to put my highlight. And it's really subtle. And now it's time for the star of the show, which is this Aurora palette right here by Anastasia of Beverly Hills. This palette is everything. And so today I am going to be using, I think I'm gonna use Eclipse today. And I'm just going to blink. You know, I'm just going to become a disco ball, okay? <laughs> Put the nose. And I'm going to do a little dot here. I want it to sit, honey. I want it to sit. And right up here. And then just a little bit right here on the forehead. Not too much. Okay, so now we're looking like a mini disco ball. Just, just a mini one. We're looking like one. And so I'm gonna go back with my powder brush and just blend all of that in. We don't want to look too crazy. We don't want to look too crazy. I think this is going to complete the video. So once again, thank you guys for joining me today on this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I really wanted to bring you guys something a little bit more dramatic. Also something that is simple as well. I love the eye. I love these lashes. I love these lips. And once again, do not forget to go check my girl out, Lisa Marie, on YouTube. Her YouTube name is Signed by L's. I'll put that right here. And I'll also put her information in the description bar below. But always remember to support your friends. Smooches. I'll see you guys on the next video. 
Bye.